the name of these modules is CO656 Computational Intelligence in Business, Economics and Finance. Uh, the module is taught by Dr. Fernando Otero and myself. So the students will learn two things. First of all, uh, we teach them computational intelligence algorithms, which are nature-inspired uh, algorithms, and we're using those algorithms to tackle uh, complex uh, real-world problems, uh, and these problems come from the fields of business, economics, uh, and finance. I have a couple of examples here, so financial forecasting, financial derivatives, and optimal rollout of a new uh, service or technology. So just to give you a bit more context here, uh, Let's say I'm trying to roll out a, I have a very new service, a very new technology. I'm trying to roll it out to the whole country, but I have to make very important decisions there and financial decisions. So where do I go first? Where do I roll out first? Do I go first to Chatham, then Gillingham, Rochester, the other way around? What if I want to go to London or also uh, up north? So there's endless possibilities or combinations there. So what we have what we call a very big uh, search space. So the algorithms can uh, help us search in that space and give us the right answer. Uh, first of all, the students would be exposed uh, to a set of problems that uh, is uh, much appreciated by uh, the industry. And another thing is that the students will get very valuable transferable uh, knowledge and skills because once they grasp the ideas of uh, computational intelligence algorithms, then they can use uh, those algorithms to tackle not only the problems that we teach them, but any other uh, type of problems of similar complexity. Uh, it's 50% coursework, 50% exam. Uh, the coursework, uh, in the coursework, you're going to be uh, implementing a computational intelligence algorithm and you're going to be using it to solve uh, a problem from the real world. Yes, Java. So, uh, it's a programming uh, module in the sense that you actually need to program the, the, uh, the algorithm, you, you need to program the, the, the problem. So, we want you to at least feel comfortable with things like implementing if statements, for loops, two-dimensional arrays, uh, maybe even uh, things like a, a class or an object. Uh, if you also want to implement things in another programming language other than Java, that's also fine. Uh, but keep in mind, when we're talking about programming languages, this does not include web programming languages like uh, PHP. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.